So they are still looking for us to meet on Wednesday. Yes, ma'am. And they want you to choose a time between 1 and 3 p.m. on Wednesday, ma'am. Let's do 2 p.m. Okay, ma'am. Fix the HR meeting for 1. Okay, ma'am. Mom, is Fatima is at the reception. Mm hmm. And the accountant's report is on your desk. It needs your signature. Ma I'll need to read it through first. Yes, ma'am. That's all. <laughs> How are you? You're <laughs> such an exceptional woman. I just got off the phone with a Christmas. And what? There it is. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> now this is good news. You know, I'm not surprised. You've been working on this for ages. I have. I Wonderful. Have. <laughs> How do I compensate you? How do I repay you? <laughs> you know, surprise me. I will uh, knock you off your socks. <laughs> How free are you on Wednesday? They want a meeting and I want you to be there. These guys need to know that we're not here for game. I'll be there in flesh and blood. I believe you. Take some coffee. All right, honey. <sighs> yes! Finally, some good news. <sighs> okay. Where are you coming from? We are to see Grace. That's a lie. Tell me the truth. Where are you coming from? I'm not lying, no. Why would I lie? Someone told me they saw you at Blue Gate. Okay, let me tell you the truth. I first went to see Grace, then she told me her friend was having a birthday party. So, I went with her. And you are just coming back at this time? I didn't know time had gone. No. I was telling Grace, let's leave. Or she was just wasting my time. Chinasa. <sighs> so you've added staying out late to fighting? Mommy, I'm very sorry. Please, it won't happen again. I promise. Is that food? Food? I can't go and get out. Yeah, food. Your mouth like food. The party that you went to, they not give you food, eh? Food call. Okay, I'm ready. Oh. <laughs> Look at you, mm. lounging. You're Honestly? Look, you're looking so exquisite. Thank you. You know, I wish I was like you, because heaven knows I need a day off. I know you do. Call me if you need anything, all right? Definitely, I will. Mm. And call me if you're in trouble in the office. I'll be there. Mm. Uh-uh. There is not going to be any problem. You enjoy your day off. All right? Have a beautiful day off. You, mm, take care of yourself, mate. Right? Okay. I'll be right there if there's a problem. Give my money. Give my money before I slap your face. Give my money. Gina, now, which money? Why, why is it for the Which money now? I'm going to slap. What problem is that? Give my money. Answer me. Which money? money? Which money? Did you ask which money? Leave my clothes. I'm gonna finish here, oh. Leave, leave my, my clothes. clothes. Give my money. Now, because you be woman, I for beat you here, oh. If I'm waiting, Gina, leave my clothes. Say if I'm waiting, go to punish your life. If I beat me, ah, me, ah, oh, oh yeah, they pull you away, they pull you away, they will pull you away. Oh, yeah, you oh, yeah, enter this. Gina, sir. Enter. Gina, sir. You enter. It's any point where they enter. You don't enter. You don't enter, be. You don't enter. I'm gonna finish now. Gina, sir. I'm not mad. Ah, what is wrong with you? Why are you fighting with boys? You took my money. You took my money, that's what they're talking me! Is that what you're fighting with, boys? Yes! My yes, mommy! Whoa! Let me see! Can I see this girl? Yes. Okay, okay, can you just calm down? Sis, calm down, I get 
it. You're upset, but listen, she's a teenager. All right, teenagers can be a handful, it's normal. But that doesn't mean I should take her. Victoria, this girl is stressing me out. We need to find a solution to this now. Okay, well, maybe I could come over and give her some counsel? She doesn't need counsel, she needs you. Can you just stop bringing this up? H how is taking her the solution to the problem? When are you going to take responsibility for her? You are a mother. When is she going to know you as a mother? Don't you want to have any relationship with her? Obi, I get it. Okay, fine, I have stability now. But taking her... It's time for you to come into her life as her mother. Can you just stop? Obi, you know what I mean. If I'm going to take her, there are some ground rules I need to set. And I haven't done it. Victoria, why are you treating this girl like she's some scary girl that you are trying to hide for the rest of your life? It is time for you to take responsibility. Can you just stop? Just stop. I mean, I, I'm, I'm stressed out about this. You need to come over so we have a, a meeting in person, one-on-one, -on -one, so we can brainstorm on this topic. So we can come up with a reasonable conclusion. Is your husband there? Yes, and can I call you back? I am not done with this conversation. Yes, honey. Is everything all right? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Everything is perfect. Uh, Do you want a glass? That'll be fine. Okay. Just fine. How's school? Do you need anything? I called Mrs. Shewa. She said your visiting day isn't until a week. School is fine, mommy. Visiting day is next week. Are you coming? Of course. Oh, my darling, you know there's nothing in this world that will have me missing my princess. I miss you, mommy. Oh, I miss you so much. I miss you too, my baby. And I love you so much. Love you too. Okay, I'll speak to you soon and be a good girl for mommy and daddy. Alright? Bye, baby. Elephant Victoria. Ah, for ye? I don't know anybody will be anti Victoria. Now God, madam, I know. Ha. No be anti Victoria be, be madam, eh? Which kind of mumu you be? I be open to make a fast affair. Where they go, wait. Ah. Ah. You just won't come from anywhere where they come, you won't just come enter. Did they do you? You just push me. Why not go push you? You just do it. Eh? So, now see. Now me, you just push. Hey, where you come from? I don't understand. No worry, I go forgive you. You know, you don't know me. Now nah, nah, your first time. <laughs> stay there. Go there. there. If they push me, I say that they and if I start, they go say I don't start. You never read. Open door. Open, Open this door. Stay there, go. I better stay there. Nah, there. Open this door. You don't see you. Nah, there, go there. Too. No worry, you go see me. Open this door. If I go climb, if I climb, you see me today. You go better make sure I jam you. Open this door now. Na na me no worry. I know I go catch you. No offense. Good day yet. Na na me they use play abi. You they remove me for 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 activity again. I'm done. I'm done. I promise. I'll see you soon. 
All right. Do you know her? Yes, she's my sister's daughter. Why are you here? Eh? Jo It's necessary, she's 18. She needs to know who her mother is. It's either now or never. Are you kidding me? She at least warned me, giving me heads up. I tried, but you never listened. I wanted us to talk about it. Oh, so you tried to convince me why she needs to stay with me for the next five years? I wanted her to come to you when she was 13, but you said no. You gave me 20 reasons why it was a bad idea. Obi, I can't do this. Oh, you can and you will. So brace yourself. This charade is over. It's either now or never. If you send her back to me, I will send her back to you. Why are you acting so wicked to me? Why can't we just talk about this, please? Me, wicked. Me. I raised her. She calls me mother. The arrangement that you're doing to this poor girl is so unfair. She no needs to know who her real mother is. And I have made up my mind I am not changing it. Nonsense. Bobby. Bobby, please. Oh my God. Yes. Uh, I'm coming. Oh, you're awake. I wanted to check up on you earlier, but I figured you were sleeping. You must have been tired. Yes, I'm very tired. I sat outside for a very long time. Oh. Um, I'm, I'm sorry about that. J just so you know, it's not the kid man's fault. We left strict instructions for him not to allow any visitors. Unless there's a phone call. We should have called. I don't have a phone. And I don't have your number. Hmm. Okay, well, welcome. I hope you enjoy your stay. Thank you. Um, please, one more thing. Um, Chinaza, I hope you understand this is not Suleri. I don't expect anything other than the best behavior from you. My sister complains bitterly about your fighting and I do not want it here. Promise me there won't be any fighting or any nonchalant behavior. No fighting, I promise. Good. I'll, I'll let you settle in. Um, if you need anything, anything at all, feel free to come to me. And as for your phone, we'll, we'll sort that out.
Where's mommy? Is she asleep? She's sleeping. She has to view her. The lie, do that. It means church. That's my sister. Can you have it? Don't worry, I owe you. I'll get you something very big. In the meantime, I got you something. She should go and sleep. I don't know, she's just sitting on there. This one should not spoil my shoe. I have a lot to do. You know what? You come with me. Ah, no. Why? I'll say to you. Mm, see, I have plenty of things to do. I'm not even yet safe. Calm down now. Eh? Just follow me, please. I have a friend that I need to catch up with. He just came to town. Please now go. We'll tell her that we're going for block nursery. Please now, I'll say I'll say to you, I'll give you something nice. It's today I know when I plan to study, I want me to follow you. Plenty things to do. <laughs> Please now, I'll say to you. I have plenty things to do, but I'll follow you. Eh? Okay, thank you very much. Eh? I'm just finish up there. Yeah, do fast as school. Thank you. May you have to say. Mommy. 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 <gasps> okay, what is it? We want to go for block rosary. Block rosary? What? Mm. Eh? Okay, I'm going. You can go. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna stop my sleep now. Ah.
What's going on? What do you mean? What's wrong with you? I've been watching you for some time now. Are you pregnant? Eh? No. I'm having my hair. How can I be pregnant? This doesn't look like my hair to me. Vicky. Vicky. Mm. Have you been sleeping with a man? How? Man? How? How? Vicky. Vicky. You should have said something. You don't keep things like this to yourself. Did you think you could hide it forever? I wanted to. He said I shouldn't tell you that you were also enjoying yourself with men. I'm so sorry. I wasn't sleeping with them. I wasn't. Vicky, you're not smart. That bastard just played you. Yes. How do you intend to tell mommy? I don't know. Do you know his house? Take me to his house, please. Chedwood? Wait. Let me understand what you are trying to tell me. You are pregnant. Yes, mom. Hey! Obi. In my house, under my roof. Mom is John's baby, and he said he's going to marry. Me, 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 John, wow. He's John's baby. He says he wants to marry you. Obi. Eh? So you can't wait for him to pay your bride price before you open your legs for him? Eh? Mom, it was a mistake. Shut your mouth. Me, John, no see you. What kind of stupid mistake is that? Okay. <laughs> Let him be in a hurry, yo. Let him be in a hurry. Hey! Hey! Makana, no daughter of mine will give birth in my house. Inamia! Yes, mommy. He said he will come with his family next week. Nkawasage. Obia Kawasage. Ekuchakwan. I'm done talking. What on the can get him? Sure, this is going to work. I don't know, but John has agreed to play along. So let's just keep our fingers crossed. Let's go inside. something. What is it? I want Vicky to live with me in Lagos after my wedding. Really? Why? I want to be close to my sister since John will be moving us to Lagos after the wedding. Obi, Obi. So you want to leave me in this house alone? To die alone? No, no, mommy, no, no, no. I, I just want to be close to my sister. You know, John works in the sea. I'll be lonely when he travels. Mr. <sighs> Wadre, you can have your sister. Hmm? Thank you. But have you told her? Yes. And she agreed. Mr. Wadre. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Voila. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Umazi, <sighs> <sighs> eh? <sighs>
Guess what? Guess what now? Ugh. The most amazing thing happened to me today. What? Take a while, guess. Fiki, are you ready to talk? I have my grandson. I'm getting married. Oh my god. Oh, no. Chief asked me to marry him and I said yes. Oh my god. Congrats. Thank you. But when you say chief, you mean Chief Chuka, right? Yes, the one and only. But are you sure? Mm -hmm. I thought this whole thing was a fling. No, we're in love. Wait, you're supposed to be happy for me. Yes, I want to be happy for you. Trust me, but you know, Chief is... He's what, older? Age has nothing to do with love. Well, you know, he was married before and his kids are almost your age. So what? I'm happy, he makes me happy. Doesn't know about NASA. What's with the one million questions? We're in love with each other and that's all that counts. So, you have to take this. Mmm, it's cheap. already thinks I'm mine for his money. Are they wrong? Oh, come on. You should know me better than any of them do. Okay, yes, I like the fact that he takes care of me, but I love him with all my heart. I can't. What you're asking of me is too much. Obi, <sighs> please. His entire family thinks I'm a gold digger. If <sighs> his mom is against the whole wedding, he never knew I had a child. If they were to find out, it would ruin everything. This is unfair to her. This is unfair to Tina, sir. Yes, I accepted to take responsibility of her. At first, just because I wanted you to live your life. And not for you to erase her. No, I would never erase her. She is in my heart. Every day, all the time. So you know what? I'll find a way to tell him. You know, to ease in the truth. Are you sure? But please. Doing here. I just got off the phone with Bidden me. You should be asleep by now. Yes, of course. Um, I'm just this going one? through some thoughts. But, but I'm fine. No, well, let's go to sleep. Yes, sure. I was sure, going right? to go. Of course, I'm fine. I was already coming at this. Your night? Fine. Okay, um, well, I'm headed to work now. Your breakfast is in the kitchen. And if you need anything, just call me. Speaking of calling, they'll bring your phone at noon. My PA will bring your phone at noon. Okay. But if you need to reach me before then, you can just use the landline. Okay. Um, uh, please, can I ask you something? Sure, yes. Um, I need money. What for? I need to buy some toiletries. Oh. Okay, well, I don't have cash, so my PA would bring you some money as he's bringing the phone. Is that fine? Yes. Thanks. If you need anything, call me. Mm -hmm. All right, bye. Bye.
Do you have any idea what time it is? No. You don't have a watch? What about the phone I, I bought you? My battery is dead. Huh. Okay. Nasa, this is Lagos. You are a young girl. You're vulnerable. You're an easy target. I don't understand why you'll be out till this time. I can take care of myself. I'm not weakling. No, you listen to me, young lady. You are in my house. My house, my rules. Number one rule you have, you have a curfew. You know what time that curfew is? 7 p.m. The day you are outside this door, anything later than seven, you would have me to contend with. Understood? Why are you acting like you care? Huh? All this while? I've lived on the street, going out, coming in, hustling. Where were you? Now you would watch how you talk to me. Watch your mouth. And Victoria, I'm tired. And I really need to rest. So are you going to let me in? Or are you going to stand here and act like the mom that always says, go back to where you're coming from? to have you back. How was your trip? Well, better than I hoped. You know we got the Osula deal. I heard. It's good to know you're finally getting useful around here. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you know, uh, this is just a quick meeting. That's why there are no fires, no water. Uh, where's Victoria? Well, <clears throat> there she comes. Are you okay? Yes, I'm very Apologies for my weakness. <sighs> well, it's good to finally have you gracious with your presence, Victoria. Well, I had a meeting with Tony. His lawyers and our lawyers are meeting up to map out our contract terms. So fast? Yes, we're hitting the ground running. Impressive. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I called you to announce that I am going to be stepping down as a chief operations officer of this company. My wife here, Victoria, will take over from me. What? Oh, well, it's actually long overdue. Uh, it's something I should have done earlier than now. But then, there's no time that is not good. And then uh, she will need all the assistance that she can get from all of you. Well, that's all. Thank you so much. I told you it's going to be fast. I'm honored. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Son, you're not leaving too? Make this make sense, Dad, because I really don't understand what's going on. I have worked and toiled for this company. And what do I get? You really get me to the background like I don't matter? Really? Son, you're overreacting, you know. You asked me to come in today that you had big news. Oh, what news is bigger than I was stepping down as a chief executive officer? And of course, handing over to Victoria. She has paid her dues. And I haven't? I've given my blood and sweat for this company. And what has Victoria achieved? The only thing she has achieved is marrying you and giving you a daughter. Shut up, son! Shut up! I forbid you from calling her by her first name from today onwards. She is your boss. You should address her as Mom. Mom. Right? What? Well, son, I've done what I have to do. So why don't you work with her to build the company? Go on, son. Go on. He's so unbelievable. Ah. Thank you. Um, 
can we talk? I'm busy. Listen, I know you're upset. Listen, I know you're very upset, but I was also taken back by your father's announcement. I was. Stop playing good cop. No one is falling for it. I'm trying to be cordial here. I need all hands on deck to keep this company thriving. Well, you should have thought about that before trying to oust me from my inheritance. Nepotism would have taken you that far. That's rich coming from you. You do realize that you have to do the work, right? You have zero skill set. I'll be so glad to sit back and watch you crash and burn. You don't have any change now. You say? You don't have any change. You say what? Let's like say you don't drink. I better give my change up. I'm not drinking. Why would I give you change again? Wait for all the distance I carry, you want to collect change for my Wait distance? For you rich here. You want to collect everyone there? Yes, <laughs> now. <laughs> if I be so, I can't. Thief. I will not have this bike now. It was for myself. Now, so you the thief? I know, I'm not you the thief. thief. You be thief. You're on I just stopped there. I give my change. See this one? Oh. She ain't see you. I'm going to beat this man. Oh. Give my change. I beg you give me my change. Come and ask my people for that place. You don't have to. I go carry, walk out, walk out. Wait for carry me come from here, Richard. Walk out, my friend, for there. You be tip only. I beg you. You don't know that. Where don't cost? Where don't cost? I beg you to give me my change. I saw you the worry. I go see. I go slap. You don't know what. Now soon I go come home. I go change for you. Give me my change. Come here, come show you. Stay there, Jerry. I go give me my change now. Hey, hey. She not let see you. She not let see. See this man. I just want to give my change, oh. Give me a change, I beg. See, no, no track me. I go, I go, come on your teeth for you now. You know, you know what we do. My teeth. What is this? Ah, look at him, my look at, look at him, mumu. He came me from jail, just here to hear what to call for for the lad. You know, you don't want to give me my two hundred change. You are my fighting a bike man on the streets for two hundred naira. It's my change now. Nah. Okay, go. Thank you. No way, I go meet you and okay. yourself. on the street or because you are very embarrassed and too ashamed to have your daughter fight on the street is that it see this is my reality this is who I am I can't change that like some people
it's not bad, but there's something missing. I don't know. There's a key element missing in that thing. And you need to check. And Give me a second, I'll call you back. Thank you. And where do you think you're going? I'm going for a party with a friend. A party? With a friend? Huh. What party? What friend? A birthday party. A birthday party? <laughs> Turn around, let me see you. Mm -hmm. So you want to go to a party looking like a cheap prostitute? Right? Oh, this is trendy wear. Ah, trendy wear. Now you listen to me, young lady. The only way I would let you leave this house is if you, one, give me your friend's name and phone number, and two, you change out of this trash you call clothing. Okay? Oh, I love this dress. Dress. You call this a dress. This is a top, go and take it off, end of discussion. But why are you acting like you're better than me? Why? At my age, you were already getting pregnant for men. What did you just say? I said, why are you sounding like you're better than me when you're way worse? At my age, you're already getting pregnant. Oh! Oh! Shut your mouth. Nassau is still not back. Is she at your place? Uh -uh. Wait, she, she isn't at mine. Okay, but well, do you have any of her friends' numbers? Maybe she could just be at one of their places. I don't know any of her friends. Do you know anyone? What? You don't know any of her friends? What are you talking about? That's absurd. You practically raised this child. What do you mean you don't... And you know you did a very bad job raising her. Me did a very bad job. Wow. So this is the thank you I get for single-handedly raising your daughter for the past 12 years. Blaming every other person aside you for your own child. What am I even saying? You can't even call her your daughter. I have to go now. Bye. Okay, let's go.
Good morning. There is definitely something wrong with you. You must be out of your mind. Where do you think this is? A hotel? Or are you just going and come out whenever you like? Hmm? You hate me. I had to leave to cool off. I was very upset. <gasps> wow. She was very upset. I made you upset. Right? You little nitwit made me lie to my husband to cover up for your rubbish. And now he's going to see you walking in from God knows where. What then? Why are you so bothered about one silly lie? Well, your entire life with your husband is full of lies. Ah. <laughs> is that how you plan to parent me? Hitting me each time I tell you the truth? Now, young lady, talk to me. What do you want? Hmm? Because it's definitely clear you don't want to stay here. I am tired of your incessant bratty attitude. Do you want to go back to my sister? Hmm? You want to go back to Suru Is that what you want? Tell me. Because I've had it up to here with your unruly mouth. One more time from you. She is driving me nuts. I can't reach her. There's nothing I would say that would permit her heart. But the relationship between mother and daughter has to be built first. I'm trying. I swear I'm doing everything. But it's like everything I say, she defiles it. She doesn't listen. It's like she's just hell-bent on frustrating me. Don't you think there's bad blood somewhere? As a result of maybe the distance you created? Babes, but what was I supposed to do? I couldn't do anything. But there's something you can do now. There is something you can do now, Victoria. Talk to her. You guys are like world apart, black and white, front and back. You know, just 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 talk to her. Try to create a bond with her. You know? I'm trying. I'm trying. You need to try harder. Right. Hello, Mr. Nanso. How are you doing? <laughs> Very well. Um, about the account, there are some discrepancies that do not tally. And I will not be approving any disbursement of cash until this is sorted. So if you and Mr. John can come over to my office as soon as possible so we have a meeting about this. Thank you. You know, there's something called office protocol where you wait for a response before you barge into my office. You know you have some guards. Disapproving funds that my team and I have been waiting for. You approve this budget. What is your issue? This has nothing to do with you. But if you must know, there are discrepancies that do not tally and I will not be dispersing funds until it's sorted. Why? Why are you hell-bent on frustrating my efforts in this company? Release this funds and let me work! Do not raise your voice at me. I will raise my voice if I choose to. You are just a rubber stamp head who is intoxicated by power. <laughs> you know, if you could just for one second stop being such an overprivileged baby, maybe then we can have a mature conversation. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let me remind you, Victoria. My father and mother built this company from the scratch. And I'm sure at the time you were running around in diapers. Now, if you think that you can frustrate me, the heir, then you better think again. Like, what rights does she even have? My team and I have been working on this thing for a long time now. And then what, we're going to remain on standstill till God knows when? Have you spoken to Daddy about it? Daddy's not in town. Besides, I spoke to him. Guess what he said? 
He said, oh, well, son, you know she's the one in charge now. And, and whatever she decides is in the best interest of the company. Just, just make her see reasons. In Jesus' name, sis, how am I supposed to make her see reasons when she's hell-bent on, on sabotaging my efforts? But are you sure about this telco company you're buying into? Says I've never been more sure about anything else in my life. Okay, I'll speak to daddy about it and make him see reasons. That's my sis. Thank you very much. How are you though? How is how is the United States? Abel, the kids? Everybody's doing fine. Jason is about to start school. Already? It's funny how time flies. Alright, just send, send my love to send my love to them, okay? Tell them I miss them. Still here. Love you. Yeah, love you too, sis. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Chinasa Nasa This girl will not start with me today. Chinasa Chinasa Come out with her luggage. What? She come out with her luggage. I, I heard you. You didn't think you should call me before letting her out of this gate. I'm sorry, ma. Just go. 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 What is wrong with this girl? This girl just wants to frustrate me. No. I will not go looking for her. If she wants to live on the streets, let her be my guest. Victoria, the poor girl is just a little girl trying to get her mother's attention. Attention? What sort of nonsensical attention seeking is that? She lives with me, isn't that enough? What else does she want? Your love. But I love her. Does she know that? You love her, but yet she's roaming around the streets. That doesn't tell much about the love you have for her. So Nasa did not come to you? You mean you haven't seen her the whole day today? Okay. Well, please, if you catch a glimpse of her, just call me immediately.
Hello, hi. Um, my security guard gave me your number. He said you know my... The, the girl. The girl that, you know, she, she patronizes you. Yes. Yes, Nasa. Yes. Have you seen her since yesterday? Oh, okay. Well, no problem. Uh, let me know if you do. Hello? Yes, talk to me. What? What do you mean the Frisma group is pulling out the account? When did you hear this? John, this cannot happen. The Frisma group is one of our premium clients. What are you talking about? Get on the phone with the CEO while I get on the phone with the CEO. Let me hear you. Hello. <clears throat> what? Uh, oh. Yes, yes, please. What what station? Okay, thank you. This girl wants to drive me crazy. My trouble. Shut up! Shut your mouth! They were the ones looking for your trouble, but you're the one in the station. Now you listen to me, young lady. This is the last time. The next time you get yourself in this kind of trouble, I will not bail you out. I promise you. Doing something normal. Mommy, who is this? Thank you. She is <clears throat> your cousin, Chinasa, but you can call her Nasa for short. Okay? Mm. <laughs> Nasa, this is my daughter, Isabel. She's been to boarding school all this while and she's finally home for her midterm break. And my sweet girl is going to a new class. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> um, Isabel, it's nice to meet you. You too. <laughs> okay, I need to show you your new room. A new room? Yes! <laughs> You're welcome. I made mean, it pink just how you like it. Nasa, bring the box. No, 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 no. I don't want to hear it. We cannot lose that account. We cannot lose Frisma. Do you understand? What? Am I okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But you were screaming. Oh, uh, my darling, yes, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. It was kind of scary. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes, baby. Okay, I'm going. All right. Why are we losing Frisma's account again? I need you to get through to Bayo immediately. 
we cannot afford to lose that account. In fact, chairman cannot find out about this. So this needs to be sorted, okay? I don't understand. These numbers are not adding up. Well, then send them to my email. Immediately, please. Ah, you're back. I wasn't expecting you till another week. Yes, I had to come back immediately. We are losing. Clients like flies. We're not losing clients. We lost just one client. Stop overreacting. How was your trip? It was going on well until I had that free smile had walked away. What are you doing about it? I'm on it. You're on it? I mean, what plans? Um, what are you doing? What do you intend to do? Or do we brainstorm? We need a solution. What free smile was our big account. You heard that? What is this? Are you trying to take over a CEO? I said I'm working on it. I know, I'm just helping. Just be enough help, that's all. But you know there's no cause for alarm, right? You can't walk in here at every little challenge we have. It doesn't look good on me. I know, that's not what I'm doing. Now listen, we have a problem. I'm just complimenting you. We have a problem, we need solutions, we have to get it done. Okay, I'm working on it. Okay. I'm calling a board meeting immediately. See you there in two minutes. Sure, boss. Oh, really? You had a boss. <laughs> cool. We all know that Frisma Group agreed to do business with us so they could work closely with the man. And now they have joined us and we want to force things down their throat. We know very well that Tima Conde will not trust that kind of money in the hands of a woman. Did you just accuse Chief Akonde of sexism? I didn't make the rules, CEO. <laughs> so you finally come out of your sexist closet? Because that would be a little too late. We have all known for years that you are a bigot. No, that's enough. That's enough. That's not why we're here. I can bring them back. I speak to Makonde's language. That would be my job. Frisma is in my account. Oh. I thought we're a team here, and we should work together as a team. What? I do not need his help bringing in Frisma, and I do not need his help now. Oh, sweetheart, I'm sorry. You have to work with everybody. And then, if he says he can help get the man back, why not? That is a trait of a leader. He doesn't respect me. Oh, sweetheart, you don't need his respect. You only need his acumen and use it to move the company forward. That's that, sweetheart. The smile's so fast. Yes. <laughs> He's holding his legs like this. <laughs> no, no, no. It's supposed to turn out to go. How are you? Fine. Have you had lunch? Yes. Okay, baby. Go upstairs. Mommy will be with you in a second. Careful! <clears throat> oh, come on. What were you two watching? Uh, some silly video. What kind of videos? Um, some comedy video on the internet. I hope you're not feeding my daughter any nonsense online content. In case you didn't notice, she's a child.
I'm going to get something quickly. I won't be long. Can I come with you? Oh, there. I'll come back just now. I don't stay home alone. But your mom will soon be back and she might not approve. Pretty please. <sighs> ah, okay, fine. Thank you. If I think he's smart. He's just so stupid. Honestly, I'm fed up with him. Hello, please, excuse me. Please, I'm looking for number 44 Lawansing Street. The Google Map Miss directed me, please. Okay, so you drive forward, you drive to that junction, you take your left. Then when you take your left, drive straight down. Yes, yes. Then when you get there, you see a T junction. Then you take your right, you see Lawansing. Okay, I'll get to the end of the yeah. road, then yeah, the T junction. Right. He doesn't know I'm just giving him a long rope to hang himself. <laughs> Um, I'll call you back. What? Stop, 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 stop! Chidasa, what's, what's this? Uh, Isabel, in the car, now. Oh. Get in! Get in the car! Young lady? Yes? Isabel is a baby. My baby. And I do not want you to expose her to that gutter life you grew up in. Have I made myself clear? because my mother abandoned me to live a free and pretentious life. You would watch how you talk oh, to... What? What? Why did I even come here? Why? Why did I ever think you would love me? You abandoned me. You abandoned me without caring. What am I even doing here? You wouldn't even know what love is even if it smacks you right in the face. That is what you tell yourself just so you could sleep at night. Mom? I called Chilasa to find out how she's doing and she said she no longer lives with you. Mm, mm hmm She left. Where is she? Listen, it's obvious she doesn't want to be a part of this life and I can't force her. The question is, where is she? I don't know, maybe she's at yours or at a friend's. What kind of mother are you? Your daughter left your place and you couldn't even call to find out where she is or how she's doing. Oh my goodness, listen, I called her once she did not pick up. What? What do you want me to do? Do you want me to kill myself? You obviously know I have other things I, I, I need to handle. Other issues, Victoria. Other issues. Your child is on the street and you said there are other pressing issues. What do you expect from me? You want me to lay my life down for her first before she acts right? Please, cut me some slacks. 
I've tried my best, like there's nothing else I could do. If it was Isabella, won't you be willing to lay down your life for her? Now you know that's not fair. That's not fair at all. Eh? Something just came up, I need to call you back. As always, I don't know what kind of mother is this. Your child is on the streets and you... Hi, my princess. Come here. Mommy, is hmm? Nasa your daughter? Yes. Yes, she's, she's my daughter, but you do know that my sister's child is also my child. Right? Okay, so do you want some smoothies? Hello, gentlemen. Unbelievable. Well. Uh. <laughs> What's going on? What? Oh, yeah, we were. We we're talking about a movie titled Lies and Betrayal. Oh, okay. And how we've had the biggest lie in our midst. And we never knew. We had no clue. What are you talking about? The very ground you walk on screams lies, Victoria. Tell Dad, let her hear it. You entrusted your company your life savings to her. Mm. And what does she do? She hides a child from you? A full-grown woman, I might add. You don't know what you're talking about. More lies. Is that how you play? Hmm? Give it up. The gig is up, all right? You're done. Are these lies? Victoria, after all these years... Oh, no. said something. I'm sorry. Are you just realizing that now? Why did you take it so long? When we were getting married, I was playing to you. I told you everything about me any time. He did. I, I, I was scared. I thought Nasa would be a deal breaker. I have kids too. Don't hide. I have kids. It's not you. Your family. Your family didn't want this marriage. It was just going to create more problems. I thought I did not want to give them more reasons to hate me, reject me. I, I was scared. Why didn't you tell me afterwards? I, I didn't know how to. Even after she came, I, I couldn't muster the words together. I, I didn't want you to be ashamed of me, embarrassed by my actions. Victoria. 
giving birth to a child is not a bad thing. There's nothing to be ashamed of it. She's a part of you. I would have also made her a part of me. I would have made her my own daughter too. Because I love you. I know this now. Just forgive me, please. What? Talk to me. Guess now. I don't know how to guess. You're making me anxious. What? Okay. You're looking at the latest undergraduate. Undergraduate? Yes. Oh my god. I just passed my post TME. Oh my god. Where did you check? Where did you check? Where did you check it? This afternoon. I just had to come tell you first. Oh my goodness. I'm super proud of you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. Now that you're undergraduates, you know you can't be doing all those grad in school. You know, right? You don't feel trouble, I'll fight them now. Chinasa, you, know, you cannot be fighting again. Why don't you do not fight me first? <sighs> Promise me you won't fight in school. <sighs> Promise? I promise. Mm -hmm. That's my girl. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you going to eat? Uh, I want pound dough and a good thing. Something, you're not having some wine? I'm good, Dad. Dad, she's still CEO. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Is it that you couldn't find someone more competent or someone more honest to fill up the gap? Like who? Yes, like me! You know, Victoria has made so many mistakes in the past and she has got over them. And I have seen her commitment to the company grow. I have seen her become more exceedingly proficient in leadership over the years. But she hid her secret child from you, Dad. For more than 12 years. She lied to you for more than 12 years. She was scared. She was very scared. So, what's your excuse? What? You know... You lied to Frisma. Tima Kondé thought we were going on that, we were becoming bankrupt. And he was wondering why we would keep that away from the public and our clients. You thought I wouldn't find out? Where did you get that from? I don't know. I don't you know. know, you're so clueless, classless, and hopeless. Yeah, oh dear. There are quite a lot of things you get when you play golf with the board member of Frisma Group, who is your friend and colleague, who looks after your back, unlike your own son. Whatever he told you is a lie, Dad. You're fired. <clears throat> Dad, Dad! You mean you're not going to verify the cheap gossip you heard about your son, your only son? I called Tima Kande. And he told me that you told him. I'm so disappointed. Oh, by the way, if you want your job back, then you have to apologize openly in written form to Victoria. And then you reapply. If he's in a good mood, yeah, you could find somewhere for you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Dad. This is Dad, come on! <sighs> yes, I can hear you. I understand, but... Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, well, can I have those files? Who is this that keeps calling? Can I have those files on my desk by Monday? Oh. Sorry, please give me a second. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a call back. This number keeps calling. All right, bye. <sighs> Hello? What? M my daughter, where? I'm on my way. Driver, drive to the house, please. Quick, step on it. I'm on my way, please. Oh my God, Isabel. Faster! to you. What do you think will happen to mommy? Huh? You want mommy to be sad? So where were you wandering off to? I want to go look for Nasa. What? Why? It's okay. It's okay. Wait. Go upstairs, sweetheart. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. Sweetheart. You have another daughter. And time has come for you to bring her home. I've accepted her. You should forgive yourself. Bring her back so we can have a family. This is a pointer to that. And I want you to think about it, okay? Now think about it. Let me go and see her daughter. I know you're upset, as it should be. Hate me, ignore me, I deserve it. But I would like you to please forgive me. Let's have a fresh start. Why? You had 18 years to do that. But you kept pushing me away each time. I'm sorry. Honestly, at, at first it was me trying to survive. But then it became plain stupidity. I should have come back for you. What about what happened in your house? You treated me like a second class citizen compared to Isabel. I'm sorry. Please. It's okay. Yeah, it's fine. But I don't need you. I just got admission into the uni. And I have my job. So I will take care of myself henceforth. You don't have to. Nasa. You said you don't want to be my mother. You made that clear no, each time. No, 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 no. That was my stupidity in action. There's nothing 
in this world that I would want more than the opportunity to be your mom. You don't have to send yourself to school. It's my job. It's my responsibility. Don't take this away from me. Please. I'm sorry. You are my baby. And I'm sorry. Naza? Yes? Thank you for honoring our invitation to dine with us. You won't call Auntie Victoria? No, please. Call me mom. Um, <laughs> you won't call mom. Can this be our regular routine? Where you eat here, you live here, and you do not run off. Mm. Please. <clears throat> I don't know. Say yes. Please. Please. <laughs> okay. Good, so we'll drink. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, your sister. Yes. <laughs> 